Hey, this is John Schneider with Fargo 3D Printing here at CES 2017. I'm here in the Formlabs booth to talk with JJ Hernandez about the new gray resin that Formlabs just announced. So, a gray resin. Tell me a little bit about why a gray resin is so special. So, it's interesting because the gray resin we've had has always been the, the high contrast, high detail resin people use. Even if you're working with prototypes and you really want to see a different definition, you want the angles to be right. If you're an architect, you really want to see those windows then you're going to want a high contrast resin, that's gray. The reason we chose to make another version of gray is really if you can get a better surface finish and better contrast with a matte finish, why wouldn't you? Right. And that's exactly what we did with gray resin, gray v3. So you have two parts here that are showing the old gray and the new gray. Can you uh, hold those up, kind of give us a little bit more things that people should be looking at on the models to, to really notice the difference between the two? Sure. So. With the models like two rooks we have over here, the new gray you can tell right off the bat is a darker color. So that helps see the contrast much, but also it's a lot more opaque. So that helps with fine features. And the matte finish you can really see if you're going to look at the detail on the top of the rooks. It's probably hard to see from over there, but the words pop out a lot more. So overall, the new gray is a lot more opaque, it's a lot more matte, and the layer lines are hidden really, really well. So if you want a good crisp finish to begin with, you don't need to sand it. That's what you want gray resin for. Right. So any differences from a uh, price point side of things or uh, I guess lead time side of things for the resin? Is this something that's shipping now or is it shipping soon? And do you have any details on that? Uh, no, the price point's the same. It's still 150 per cartridge and it's shipping now. Okay. So is this going to replace the old gray or is, is the, uh, are both grays going to be offered for, uh, for a while yet alongside each other? Uh, this is going to replace the old gray. Okay. I think we're probably, if someone still wants to buy gravy too, they probably can still go through our older inventory. But this is where we're moving forward. It's, it's really beneficial in all aspects. Right. So then, uh, I guess from a print setting side of things, is still the same layer resolution options, still the same X and Y resolution? I mean, there's really no options in the settings for that, but still same quality levels as far as all of that goes? So that's really interesting because it does have all the same resolution options, 100 micron, 50 micron, 25 microns, for both the Form 2 and the Form 1 Plus, but also Gray V3 is the most accurate of our standard resins we've ever released. So we're always just getting better. So if you want something accurate and precise, Gray V3 is best so far. So I'm, I'm curious about that. In what ways, how did it become more accurate? Is it just a, a curing setting or a curing change in how it, uh, how it interacts with the, uh, with the UV laser? So part of it is our process is just better. We're always improving. We're always trying to get the best negative features, positive features, walls, and things of all that sort. Um, and part of it is some chemistry material magic okay. that we try to aim for. Okay. Proprietary, I'm guessing, or something that's kind of the form lab secret mix? Yeah, our, our secret, secret formula. Okay. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Well, JJ, I want to thank you again for taking the time to speak with me. Great learning about the new gray, something that uh, those little changes can really start to add up and uh, make a good material even better. It's very cool. Thanks for the talk. I've had people misspell my name. <laughs> they spell it like J-A-Y, J-A-Y or something? Well, more like Hernandez. Like that, that's, that's a really well-known name, you know? You think they'd get it. But.